Good afternoon, everybody, and welcome to today's CA webinar, How to Protect and Grow Your Business with CA ArcServe R16 Family of Products. My name is Kevin Askew. I'm Director of Sales here at TechExcend. I want to cover today's agenda first, a little bit about who we are, then the webinar by John Benjamin, How to Protect and Grow Your Business with CA ArcServe R16. John is the Senior Solution Strategist at CA Technologies. We'll end today's session with a question and answer period and then a summary. TechExtend is a value-added reseller of developer and infrastructure tools. We can be found at www.techextend.com. CA ArcServe falls under our database worldview ecosystem. We are an elite CA partner and the number one data modeling reseller for CA in North America. We also have a dedicated CA sales and engineering team on staff. Under our database worldview, we provide industry-leading tools for your end-to-end -end development needs, including defining, designing, developing, testing, deploying, and managing. Now, without any, without any further ado, I will turn things over to John to start today's webinar. John? Thank you very much, and uh, thank you all for joining today. It's a privilege, and uh, we're quite honored to always do a, uh, a presentation like this for uh, TechExtend customers. Uh, especially with a strong relationship that was mentioned earlier. As a part of our discussion today, obviously, we really want to take the time to really discuss how um, the new technology that we've released here with version 16 um, is really a, a radical way to really secure, protect organizations, really important and valuable uh, data, uh, as well as the actual systems themselves. Uh, and their applications. Um, there's so many aspects of a business that really affect their profitability, the ability to uh, protect the data. And then, of course, without that data, obviously, it's impossible really to continue to flourish and, and grow the way that uh, all of us in our respective businesses would like to. So we're going to spend a little time today talking about some of the challenges that uh, many of you may incur. Uh, or and some of those that obviously that went into the thought process of why we have developed the product the way we have uh, today. So as you look at, uh, I think, today's issues, I would probably say that uh, issues like these that are on the screen here today probably touch each and every one of us in one manner or another. Um, Managing costs, you know, uh, is, is, is a challenge. You know, all of us are continuously trying to growing uh, our business and profits, but it's competing with some of those other challenges that we see listed here. Cost being a primary one uh, that we all wrestle with. Reduce the cost of acquiring and maintaining the appropriate uh, technology itself. Um, supporting the disaster recovery plan. You know, making sure we have the right technology in case of a crisis to recover the data at the right cost. Protecting intellectual property that really separates many businesses from their peers and really allows some to really catapult themselves to a leading position in the marketplace. And of course, the goal is to reduce downtime, which we'll talk a little more about that in, in coming um, in slides here momentarily. And there's complexity of things. Um, you know, at one point, uh, you thought it was you know very simple to protect the information. The information was you know, not as voluminous and not as large as it is today. There's so much data out there right now, be it you know communicating by uh, social media, uh, email, databases. And in order to be successful, that information, that intellectual property is critical. And the type of systems that we have to include in today's technology uh, goes beyond the former in areas of just only physical actual servers. Now it's about technologies that also include virtualization uh, and even things along those lines, mixing those. And that takes us to the, the, the capability of making, selecting a solution. First, a partner like TechExtend who can give you a broad range of technologies, services, and support, but also making sure that the technologies themselves that are recommended are also being able to mesh well with the capabilities that each organization is trying to um, achieve uh, as part of their business uh, initiatives each year. And then beyond that, making sure you select the technology that actually has the ability to uh, basically grow with your organization. Is the technology scalable? 
Uh, is it possible for that technology to become outdated? It's here today, but the organization does not have to then reinvest and retool itself. So making sure you're selecting a tool or a solution that has technology that's proven to have very cutting edge type technology, but yet strong underpinnings to traditional ways of protecting the infrastructure within an organization. So as we look at um, some of those particular issues that are in the marketplace today, we really have to take it and look at it as um, really looking at how uh, we can avoid downtime. And the cost of downtime in many organizations is a significant number. If you haven't taken the time today to do that analysis internally, I, I encourage you to do so because it really adds additional value when you're trying to um, um, put together a cost analysis or justification for why some technologies may be important. And basically data protection very often is like an insurance policy. And like with many insurance policies, you always have to estimate the risk of over-investing or under-investing. Um, when you look at some of these numbers here that were, that were done here about a year ago now, we basically uh, surveyed about 2,000 companies. And this was done by the Coleman Parks Research Group. Uh, and 200 of the 2,000 were interviewed. Um, and we broke it down by company size, as you see here, you know, enterprise organizations, basically 1,000 uh, employees or larger medium, you know, anywhere from 500 to that 999 level, and small businesses, about 50 employees on up to that 499 level, really getting a cross-section of business sectors, financial services, public sector, retail, and manufacturing. And what we were amazed to find, although we knew it was a significant number, when we look at the actual findings, that about $26.5 billion in U.S. dollars were lost in downtime uh, on uh, during last year or, uh, on an annual basis uh, going uh, on a recurring basis. <clears throat> the uh, like number for our European counterparts was approximately about $23 billion. So they themselves, uh, looking at something across you know, the, uh, the Atlantic there, really gives us a, a pause look at. This is a significant, wide range of problem, not specific just to a particular geography. Now, we're set to approximately being about $150,000 annual per business uh, that is lost due to downtime. Large organizations lost about a million dollars. Medium organizations lost about ninety-two thousand, and small businesses about fifty-five thousand dollars. In this day and age, with high levels of competition, with a very, very challenging economy, you can't afford to lose any type of revenue or bottom line dollars. So it's really important to identify what type of technology you have. Do you have the appropriate processes in place? When you look at the uh, revenue, that's staggering it now. But you also lose hours of productivity. Downtime causes the, your staff to work at a much reduced level of productivity. On average, you're losing about one third of the productivity uh, for your organization. The study showed about the organization worked about 69% of their normal productivity levels. Only 70% of the normal revenue goals were achieved during those times when the critical applications, tier one applications, were down. Um, and of course, the residual effect of that is how your reputation, um, your, the morale of your organization is, is impacted. And here by the, uh, the research done by Coleman and Park showed about it was down about 45%. And about 50% <clears throat> or 48% of the companies said that downtime would uh, be quite damaging to their reputations. Especially if you look at certain businesses that do a significant amount of revenue this time of year, if their websites were unavailable, unavailable, didn't have the appropriate uh, um, resources to close out a transaction, even a brick and mortar location, that would be challenging. So, 80% of companies experience at least one to two outages per year, and approximately two thirds of organizations, 66%, have no disaster recovery strategy in place. And I want to say that not that they don't have it documented, uh, but it's not tried and true, uh, proven and tried in true fashion. And that's key. You have to make sure you have a, a plan that is executable and also will prove itself to be quite uh, dependable in case uh, of a crisis. So this is kind of the backdrop we're working with when we're talking about some of the technologies uh, that are going to be important, some of the actual costs that are incurred by organizations by not having the right technology. And we want to make sure, as we talk to you about this, how you can avoid some of these costs. So it's really looking then at technologies that provide comprehensive data protection. And what we mean by that is the ability to protect your information and data from all aspects of uh, interruptions or, or corruption, 
from files and folders to applications, databases, or the entire operating system, regardless if they're on a physical uh, or uh, a virtualized environment. You really want to also look at uh, how comprehensive that protection is. How do you want to protect that particular uh, data? Uh, you're looking to um, protect it um, just with um, you know, backing it up. Do you need um, data duplication technologies? Um, are you going to use snapshots, replication, just a file backup? There are different methods that you can actually do. And then how often will those particular activities take place? And depending upon the type of business you have, some technologies such as backup and snapshots may not be enough to fill the gaps that you need uh, in case of a crisis. Then beyond that is you're really talking about you know, what type of a location. So where is it that you will actually store some of the data that you're going to uh, protect? Um, because now, uh, it, more than ever, there are many more options than they were 10, 15 years ago. Uh, tape is traditionally your foundational backup and recovery method, still tried and true, very reliable, dependable, and also needed for compliance purposes and regulatory compliance. Disk adds additional speed to that. The local accessibility of disk really helps organizations um, get back on their feet more quickly than actually trying to find the tape, mount the tape, merge those uh, incrementals, and then re um, restore the actual system. And of course, now cloud gives us the flexibility to really look at um, creating a very flexible um, uh, and a very resilient way to be able to manage the recovery or the backing up or archiving of data. And when we are looking at uh, the types of um, methods of restoring data, backing up data, copying data is all very important. But the most important aspect of doing any type of backup or data protection is the recoverability, the restore methods that are, that are, that are, that are available. And in this day and age, it's not about backup, it's about the recoverability. So the question then comes to you as a business owner or, or a key IT professional, how do I select the right recovery method? Is it just a file and folder level? Do I need granular applications, such as an email or file and folder restoration from exchange uh, or object level re uh, restoration? Or is it necessary for the type of business that I'm in uh, for a full system um, or complete application restoration? So as we look at trying to avoid downtime, as we look at the costs that are associated by having the wrong technology or under-protecting, really having the right comprehensive protection based on these tenants are going to be very important as we consider um, you know, working through that best of breed technology. Technologies that are available today are varied. Uh, you have um, probably uh, have many of these installed in your organizations today. Um, you know, many of them are very proven, and we talked about some of them already. You know, RAID for devices that protect against you know, dry failures, uh, but these may be very expensive for maybe medium or small businesses to, to, um, to use. Traditional tape backup is used uh, for long-term storage, uh, while new disk-based snapshots really add speed and flexibility uh, to restore times. But beyond that, you may need to have technologies that provide data replication, uh, mirroring, or continuous uh, data protection that will fill the gaps that are, that are left by traditional backups uh, and snapshots. And of course, there's the whole system protection level. You know, how am I going to make sure that I get my system stored? Bare metal, bare metal recovery something that I'm looking for? Uh, will clustering or high availability software be the technologies that I would actually add to my current level of protection? So those are some of the considerations that are out there. Now we'll talk about how we actually apply them. Because although you may have the right technology, it's really having the right tool for the right job. So depending upon what your organization needs, is it, um, it, can you um, identify effectively how much downtime your organization can incur before there's significant revenue lost, reputation, or, or productivity? And this, you look at this particular example, back at the tape and archiving is often used for historical um, restoration of data. You would look at the disk staging and, uh, as well as VTL for data that's a little bit more important to get back more quickly. All data is important. It's a question about the value of data, what's more important to the organization at a recurring basis or near time. 
and we're talking about technologies that would fall into the categories of being able to provide strong recovery time objectives, RTO, uh, and recovery point objectives, RPO, being able to get back to a particular point very quickly in a short time frame, and then a recovery point thing, can I get to a specific point in time where the data is valid and usable? As you go up in the spectrum, the RPO and RTO are improved. So when you go from tape to disk, you get a higher level of recovery time, R RTO, and a more granular RPO. But even better, when you go to replication and mission critical, when you do failover, which you're doing a real-time copying of data. So we want to make sure that as we talk about the rest of our conversation here today, it's making sure in the backdrop we're selecting and applying the right tool uh, for the job. As we talk about selecting the right tool, when we introduce R16, which was released uh, in September, one of the key areas we wanted to focus on were technologies that were, I would say, uh, prevalent in the marketplace today. So we developed ArcSurf R16 with some key technology areas that customers, as well as our partners, have communicated as important. And we think we've actually improved upon even the requests that were given to us, providing something that we think is that we call revolutionary, or at least for, for ArcSurf. When you look across the industry, you'll see that um, the, the ArcSurf family of products, as we look in the backstop and making sure we're protecting your business and helping you then with that protection of the intellectual product, uh, property uh, and proprietary information, making sure that the systems, application, and data are available, this now allows you to grow your business be it from numbers of locations and productivity, and in the end, of course, profitability. And the technologies that we felt that were leading in these area were virtualization, uh, making sure that we were allowing customers to be able to uh, determine how they wanted to do that, a span across um, physical environments, uh, doing file level backups, snapshots, um, and also taking that to cloud because that becomes now something that allows smaller and medium businesses to leverage some of the capabilities that only enterprise organizations had the opportunity to do in the past. Uh, small and medium businesses don't have the discretionary income often to have a secondary location uh, miles away as a hot site or a failover site. But cloud now for, affords them that distance independent, um, um, ready when you need it type of failover and at a lower cost that will actually allow small and medium businesses now to compete more effectively with enterprise organizations now that they can have better protection of that data. And of course, making sure that we can simplify the manageability, deployment, and the backup, recovery, and failover as necessary. And then what we're going to talk about beyond that is just some of the key aspects of the R16 um, product solution as we have rolled it out here in recent months. All right. Now, when we look at virtualization, I would imagine that uh, the majority of folks who um, are currently um, doing data protection or even in infrastructure um, uh, management have looked at virtualization um, or have already adopted it. Uh, clearly, this virtualization technology over the past few years is really brought in a new way of doing data protection, making it very possible for small enterprises to really um, gain uh, some of the benefits of lower administration costs, lower hardware costs, and with the support of different technologies such as Microsoft Hyper-V, Citrix Zen, as well as um, uh, VMware, ArcServe has really excelled in allowing customers to manage that in both a physical as well as virtualized environments. So let's talk about some of those technologies as we have them today. Um, customers today are looking to, as we've discussed, take their data and say, hey, I need to be able to um, perhaps consolidate all these physical servers as data grows, and we're, we're seeing uh, anywhere upwards of 30% year-over-year growth in most organizations, and some I've talked to have had 90% growth of their data year-over-year, year, depending on the industry or vertical that they're in. But if we were even looking to use a third of that number, it's important that we have a comprehensive way to do your data protection in a virtualized environment because you want to have fewer servers so you don't have to manage as many servers, lower the cost of actually having um, the heating, cooling, uh, and management of those multiple servers to one box where you can do that very efficiently. And you can see we're taking advantage of every level of protection. 
Uh, no longer do you really have to uh, worry about also trying to install in individual clients in these particular um, uh, guests. We're allowing you to do an image-based wholesale virtual backup. Uh, we give you the ability also to do a standby uh, with our introduction. We'll talk a little bit more about that, of our central standby, of our central applications uh, solutions. And we're also making sure we're doing the full system replication and high availability in a virtualized environment, which works very well for many customers who are saying, I'm looking at VMware or Hyper-V, and um, I need to, they need to leverage another technology to replicate the data from my physical server, from my virtual server to virtual server, but yet I have these other physical servers, but now I need to use a separate and distinct solution. The ArcServe family product allows you to use one product that can take care of all of that, simplifying centralizing the management of your physical uh, as well as your virtualized servers. And the key vendors that most people are working with are listed here. Again, Hyper-V, uh, VMware, and Citrix Zen. So that's something that we feel that was important to bring to, bring to, the, to the equation as we looked at selecting best and breeder technologies to allow uh, you to come to uh, industry-leading partners like uh, Tech Extend to say, what can I do to simplify the deployment and protection of my data? Beyond that, we talked a little bit about the fact that cloud uh, is in the midst of really growing for many organizations, and many individuals within these organizations are really trying to figure out how cloud computing can best serve them uh, in their organization. Uh, is, it, is it something that we should do in reference to public cloud? Or would we like to do something a little bit more conservative and do internally in a uh, private cloud? Uh, a recent survey conducted by the uh, Aberdeen Group indicates that 66% of those using cloud for data storage are using it for disaster recovery and backup purposes. And the same report indicates that the cloud can decrease the actual time of recovery by up to 400% percent versus having no cloud technologies. So there's some significant benefits to cloud technologies. Of course, you need to do your due diligence and look at cloud vendors uh, and making sure you understand uh, how uh, and uh, they will do that, what are the recovery time objectives, recovery uh, point objectives, and the costs associated with them. However, the CA ArcServe family of products we'll talk about here you'll see has some nice ways of allowing you to actually leverage the strength of cloud, be it in a public or private environment, take advantage of that. And how are we doing that? Well, key ways we, we do that are by taking advantage of some of the, the leaders in the industry today. So we've included a common cloud connector um, in all of our solutions today, giving us the ability to hook into uh, some of the industry leading um, manufacturers of cloud today. Um, each component of ArcServe, be it backup, replication, high availability, or a disk to disk, um, now have a common and secure cloud connection uh, layer that really provides a very, very robust and strong integration access to cloud. And take advantage of those things such as private cloud that might even have technologies such as Eucalyptus, uh, you know, providing what we like to call and the industry is calling also a hybrid uh, level of data protection. You can do physical, you can do virtual, you can do cloud, and you can do a combination thereof. Um, what we've announced here also is ability to, to support uh, such vendors such as Microsoft Azure, um, uh, as well as Amazon uh, AWS. We're pro providing encryption for this as well. So if you're um, providing backup uh, to tape or to disk, a replication of high availability, now with the R16 release, we now provide a way that you can actually replicate in a very secure fashion to the cloud, archive to the cloud, public, private, or even a virtual coal standby. And I think this is something that um, I know that in my conversations with many of um, customers today, uh, it's something that they're looking to augment their current data protection um, topology. Beyond that is with all these technologies we talked about before, be it you know, physical servers, of uh, uh, virtualized servers, Exchange, SQL, um, you know, cloud, uh, the ability to recover a, a particular email, perhaps. It's important to be able to do that in a manner that provides a, um, I would say, a centralized way of doing that. Because 
medium businesses and small businesses especially who may have individuals who are doing multiple roles, roles don't have the time or the bandwidth to actually or sometimes the competency to basically comfortably know all aspects of how to protect their data and recover it in a very efficient fashion. So with R16, we've created a way in a improved fashion. R sort of has had all along a very strong, I would say, um, competency in centralized management that's set it apart from many of the competitors. But with R16, we've added a very robust web management console and dashboard to many of the actual applications or products that we have in our suite of solutions based on a web.2 design. So, for instance, with ArcServe D2D, you'll now be able to recover data not only to its lo local position or its original location, but via the web from any location uh, using an Internet Explorer browser, let's say, uh, you can actually restore it to its original location or alternate location. We can now also do central reporting across ArcServe Backup as well as ArcServe D2D, really allowing you now to see some of the metrics which servers are, who are, are backing up successfully, which one may have challenges, allowing you more time to address those things that are more critical to your organization than trying to recover, uh, identify how to recover a server. You'll know exactly what servers are doing very well and which servers perhaps might need some attention uh, in a proactive fashion with the reporting aspects that are built into the actual product. Now, ArcServe um, a Backup is one of those solutions that also cuts across um, many platforms. So you're going to have, as we talked about some of the solutions, we have an ArcServe solution that takes care of back at the tape. We have one of those disk replication high availability, making sure that the approaches to centralizing the backup or protecting your data can be done in a collaborative fashion or in an individual application level uh, should you desire to have it that way. All right. Um, web services by third-party integration, and we can do those as well. Uh, we're trying to make sure that we're leveraging even some of the MSP-type organizations out there and making sure that, again, that as an organization, you can make this a, a modular, um, uh, I would say, growth of your data protection. Uh, you can do it all at once, or you can do it in a modular fashion. And it also helps you not have to worry about learning different tools uh, from different manufacturers who have different types of uh, ways of actually licensing as well as uh, managing the technology. So why don't we take a few minutes now and our remaining time to kind of go through some of the actual key enhancements of the actual products themselves uh, and drill a little bit further down into how some of these particular technologies, uh, along with um, their, their current capabilities and the new enhancements, might help your organization take time to um, improve efficiencies. And as you overuse phrase, but time is money. So we can save, our goal is if we can save you time in the management of your data protection needs, if we can manage, reduce the time it takes to back up the data, if we can reduce the time it takes to um, restore the data, all those things work to make sure that, A, your data is available, because second to employees in the organization, I feel, the data is the most important asset. Without that asset, you really can't grow your business to the level that you'd like to. We're now allowing you to do that with a very comprehensive way. Arcsurf Backup happens to be the flagship product that's been in the marketplace for well over 20 years. See, the Arcsurf is a unique and it's, uh, it's a complete offering. Uh, when we start looking at complete protection, we're the only vendor right now that provides uh, a solution that spans across, um, you know, protecting the full spectrum of data from a simple file, a backup, uh, snapshots, uh, you can do hot, incrementals uh, for disaster recovery purposes, as well as the ability to do high availability uh, where we can address the ability to do uh, high availability in a local area network, perhaps across a wide area network, or even now a cloud. And we can do that with one family of products. When we look at ARCs for backup, one of the key aspects is all the technology that's built into the solution out of the box. And the phrase ROI, or the acronym, uh, return on investment, is key when you're looking at ArcServe. One of the benefits, if you're not familiar with ArcServe, is the fact that it has been trusted for organization well over uh, two decades. A mature product, exceptional development has gone into making sure that it's very scalable, very flexible as well to back up applications, databases, and it can do that in a heterogeneous environment. 
uh, it supports disk, tape, and it's included, uh, which is all included in a very unique offering. And also at no additional cost, which again is a differentiator, another reason why I think TechExtend leads with this particular solution, it includes technologies such as data duplication and storage resource management technology at no additional cost. This is a great value for many organizations that um, need to make sure they have this type of technology, and now they can get this at any additional charge, allowing you to redirect that, that revenue perhaps to secure uh, infrastructure management solutions or database management solutions such as Irwin, or modeling solutions, pardon me, for, for our, our, like our Irwin solution, or looking at tech extend to extend the ability for buy additional servers applications uh, for your existing uh, infrastructure. If you look at the list of the items that are here, there are a number of items that are unique uh, and in the aspect that differentiate us from the competition. And we're going to spend a little time talking about some of those today. Um, you know, you can see here uh, some of the things we talked about were about the cloud already. Uh, we also have a very unique way of actually restoring the actual server as far as restoring the active SID uh, from, from an active directory perspective. And these are just some of the actual uh, enhancements. What I like to be able to position often is for especially people who are looking to um, perhaps upgrade their current level of protection. It's kind of the differentiators and, and why this particular solution. So one of the aspects that I point out is that Arcsoft Backup is the only product that combines that data duplication that I referred to earlier, uh, integrated backup, copy to cloud, um, synthetic full backups, and granular store for it, as well as a pictorial view or infrastructure visualization, both a physical and virtual service at no additional cost. Some of these technologies you need to license separately through our, some of our competitors, um, but more than that, we wanted to make sure that out of the box you're getting everything you need regardless of the type of level of protection you're looking for. Uh, we have an integrated cloud setup that simplifies provisioning, uh, the ability to uh, archive uh, data to cloud, so you can free up your disk space that you may have in your current server today. You do have a very broad application support. So we talked a little about SQL, Oracle, Informix, um, Sybase, um, you know, just to name a few. Exchange, we talked about um, Lotus Notes as far as messaging perspective. We can provide that on a Windows, Linux, Unix platform. Uh, we also have the ability, we talked about, to even archive the data to cloud disk to disk to tape or disk to disk to cloud. And we can do that essentially from one console. And one of the other aspects of this is also being able to integrate with the other ArcServe family of products. Looking at a little bit more, some of the additional features that were added in R16, you can see that we added the ability to archive. Uh, we felt that this was something that was necessary um, for a number of reasons because customers are filling up their hard drives with a lot of duplicate data. So what if you restore individual user items, such as you know your um, uh, Active Directory um, without having to restore your server, to reboot your server uh, and with the original SID? Uh, we have that being able to done, be done as well. Um, we have the ability to uh, copy to cloud, migrate those backups we talked about, take advantage of the cloud flexibility to gain additional storage of your data at different locations. We can do uh, snapshot and, and final recovery in a very integrated fashion. You, know, you can do snapshots. This is just the tape. Um, we, can, we can combine both tape and single backup catalogs for quick restoration basically anywhere. And the synthetic full backup now automating the merging of those incrementals in a, in a fashion that now allows customers who would spend many times trying to do that themselves really provide greater efficiencies internally for organizations today who are using traditional backup methods, this automates some of those processes that were taking a lot of time for many organizations. Now, we talked about Archer Backup, right? Again, backing up the tape, which is something that is traditional, foundational uh, underpinning for many backup. And now let's talk about ArcServe D2D and our central applications uh, for R16. ArcServe D2D, uh, we've enhanced this particular product with the ability to leverage and protect uh, hybrid environments, for instance, being able to uh, archive disk, uh, data on disk as well as the cloud, archive it to disk as well as the cloud, uh, be it public or private. Again, reclaiming space on your hard drive, optimizing the backup speed, and also 
include the ability to um, leverage some of those other technologies that may be emerging in cloud. Um, we want to be able to do this in a, in a fashion that differentiates itself from its, its competitors. So you look at some of the features that are unique, the block level incremental snapshots forever, the I square technology. You know, we can do one single snapshot now with five different restore points. We talked a little bit about that web.2 interface. So Arcs or V2D is a web interface. You can log on from any remote location, do your manage your backups, restore to the primary location or to an alternate location. And another aspect that's beautiful about the solution is this dissimilar hardware capabilities. Arcstar Backup can do backup uh, and do bare metal recovery to like or similar hardware, but Arcstar D2D brings that bare metal recovery to dissimilar hardware that many small and medium organizations who are really backing up the disk a lot only these days rather than managing tapes really need to have as a reliable, dependable way of protecting their data. And of course, to be able to manage it uh, centrally. We talk about some of the other aspects that will also extend the, the value of it, was being able to look at our I square technology. And this is how, from a competitive perspective, I wanted to lay this out. Arc Surf uh, with our advanced, uh, as well as our standard edition, allows you to basically do one backup. And from that particular point on, all you have to do is the block level infinite incremental snapshot. It only captures the change blocks from that point on. So it's less load on your production server, uh, less load on the network and CPU. Uh, traditional imaging technologies use more disk space, as this image shows. Uh, usually requires, um, you know, retention of more um, recovery points to maintain a policy. We can continue doing recovery points and merge the oldest, Arcstar D2D does, the oldest recovery point into that initial and only full, while our competitors actually have to do another backup, deleting those other recovery points, and then for that particular point, if there's a problem or if there was a challenge in that merging or backup, you may have lost those recovery points uh, for all eternity. And of course, we do not have to delete um, any of the backup sets and move them with uh, a merge them as far as incrementals. We take care of that in an automated fashion. So the product itself is very flexible. We talked about some of the recovery points that are, are, are available. You can talk about being able to do the final folder recovery. We can do a bare metal recovery to similar or dissimilar hardware. We can recover SQL, uh, again, very fast, fast at the database level, and of course exchange at the database level or the message or um, folder uh, level as well. So very flexible, very fast, and very intuitive uh, technology that the ArcServe DDD brings to the table. And it can work in conjunction with ArcServe backup to provide a different level of protection, a higher level of recovery point and recovery time objectives. So email, kind of the lifeblood of many organizations, this allows us to uh, do a granular restoration and a backup of the um, emails on a particular exchange mailbox uh, and perform granular recoveries of any of those particular databases by selecting uh, from a list of objects inside uh, exchange. Um, when we look at the um, central applications, which is also new, and we're excited to be able to talk about this today. This actually extends the value that uh, you've been able to uh, hear about from Arcsurf Backup and Arcsurf D2D to now provide a centralized way to manage both those particular solutions from one common interface, also see all the reports from one location, but also gives the ability now to do a host-based um, virtual machine backup with Arcsurf D2D and adding the uh, host-based application backup from, for central host backup with our central applications now and do that from uh, one um, single pass not having to load any agents in the specific guest in that particular server. And then of course our CA Arc Server virtual standby. This allows us to take a physical server and by doing our normal snapshots, which can be done down to every 15 minutes if you so desire, in case of a hardware failure of that particular server, spin up a virtual machine of that particular hard, uh, physical server in, within minutes because we've been populating the hypervisor with those um, those snapshots, we can spin those up um, very quickly and really provide a very unique way for customers, medium and large organizations alike, and perhaps small organizations who like the like leverage the technologies of virtualization to get back on their feet very, very quickly. 
as you look at some of the additional benefits of ArcServe D2D, you can see it, it's the only product that provides that initial full recovery. ArcServe D2D is Windows only. It gives you that physical server migration, automated copy to cloud. You can archive the cloud, disk to disk to cloud. And we also do that bare metal recovery with that infinite incremental snapshot that I talked to you about before, our I squared technology. It really means never having to do another full backup, which is huge for many organizations today who are trying to manage where those full backups are, where those recovery points are, et cetera. And we talked, obviously, about the quick recovery from a router perspective and ability to perform very, very strong protection for key Microsoft applications, such as SQL as well as Oracle. When we look at the application protection capabilities of uh, ArcServe replication high availability, we, this really gives us uh, the ability to provide continuous protection for systems where downtime is just not an option. We can replicate the data uh, as well as backups to remote sites uh, and to the cloud for disaster recovery uh, purposes. And this, again, provides that different layer of protection that I talked about earlier. ArcServe replication really has some unique uh, features in the solution that really allow customers to provide application aware, so automatic discovery of applications such as Exchange, SQL, uh, BlackBerry, uh, Oracle, SharePoint uh, for on-site or off-site protection, independent uh, storage independent, so we don't care what type of storage uh, you're using today. It could be you know, DAS, NAS, or SAN. Uh, you can do one-to-many or many-to-one replication. So if you have the necessity to consolidate backups from many locations to one, you can do that. And of course, a key aspect of this solution, again, is the ability to also do data migration from a physical to virtual or virtual to virtual. Um, another key aspect is the fact that we also do Windows, Linux, and Unix support, which is a unique differentiator from us. And we also have a very unified uh, data uh, management console. The other aspect we have is what we call our CDP, and that's the ability to do rewind. So uh, ability to have a recovery point and to recover back to a, a known, valid, and good point. And so any of these can be trialed from uh, the TechExtend website, uh, as well as ArcServe.com. We'll talk a little bit more about that in, uh, in a few minutes. Uh, to actually extend the value of our replication solution, um, we actually enhanced a couple of things uh, this year, which was the ability also for us, in addition to what you see here as far as on-site, off-site windows protection, one-to-many, as well as to do remote office protection, the rewind we talked about, is also the ability now to also do what we like to call um, replication to the cloud, and we'll talk about that in a moment. ArcServe high availability really takes the ArcServe replication capabilities and now moves it to that automated failover and failback capability. Another differentiator I want to point out here is our assured recovery capability. Our assured recovery really allows disaster recovery testing without having to stop that production server. So very often organizations say they have a disaster recovery plan but never tested it. If that exchange server, would it recover in case of a crisis? We can test our recoverability of that exchange server, that SQL server, that BlackBerry server, without ever having to stop your production server, bring up that replica server, be it locally or across a wide area network. And the benefits of these solutions also now, again, extend to the cloud. So again, we want to make sure that you understand that this takes care of physical as well as virtual, automatic failover, fail back capabilities. You can do it manual or automatic, push button if you so desire. And this is a solution that would be in addition to your backup to provide a higher level of protection for your, for your organization's resilience. And again, as far as a recap, Application aware, so we'll automatically discover Exchange, SQL, SharePoint, IS, Microsoft Dynamics, CRM, as well as Oracle, BlackBerry, just to name a number of them. As far as you know, jumping down to the bottom here, physical and virtual via servers, and this is a very non-disruptive disaster recovery testing capability that we allow you to do with the ArcServe high availability, high availability solution. Application support is very strong. We talked a little bit about those, but you can see even from a IBM AIX perspective, Red Hat Linux, uh, SUSE. Uh, just to name a, a, a few, um, as far as the application level support, operating uh, systems, and as far as virtualizing support for Hyper-V, VMware, Citrix Zen, we can get full system failover and replication, as well as the application level uh, full, uh, protection and replication and high availability. 
In our closing moments, just want to talk about some disaster recovery options. We wanted to make sure as we talk about protecting your data, we just gave you a flavor for some of the different methods and combinations that can be used today to protect your data. So we've looked at some of these options. What's right for your business or organization? Right? With ArcSurf Backup working in conjunction with ArcSurf D2D, you have a number of ways you can actually take care of protecting the data. You, know, you can do your traditional backups. Uh, again, and those of you who are doing backups today are, are keenly aware of those. Well, with ArcSurf Backup, now you do your initial backup uh, on, on the actual server itself. You would then take the opportunity to merge those particular uh, uh, capabilities with ArcSurf D2D, install the client agents on ArcSurf D2D, discover those particular uh, backups using the Backup Manager for our centralized protection manager. You would then have the D2D server added as a backup resource tree, and this is in lieu of showing you perhaps a, a live demonstration, kind of giving you a, a whiteboard of how that process would work in a combination fashion. Uh, you would then uh, allow the backup to tape in a dedupe fashion, create a backup job using D2D as the, uh, as the source, and any combination of backup media. Again, we talked about disk, and you can dedupe to disk and then back it up to tape if you so desire. You can back up job runs, and then obviously make sure that the credentials are right. It validates the credentials in that particular server. The backup job and then um, uh, files from the latest DDD backup of the disk converts that particular data to regular files, passes that on to the um, ArcServe agent, and then files are read from the disk, and then, of course, backed up and written to the ArcServe backup media of choice. Um, very flexible, and the benefit of working with ArcServe Backup D2D and ArcServe Backup together is the speed to recovery depending on which servers. So ArcServe Backup would be loaded on all your servers, being able to use a push technology to back up the tape, but for critical servers like Exchange or SQL, now you have ArcServe D2D who can do a very quick bare metal recovery of that data and also allow you to do that infinite incremental snapshot capability on that one particular and only full backup if necessary, so if you should desire. When we look at on-premise and off-premise, cloud as well as virtual protection, ArcServe sort of replication and high availability in combination with backup can do your physical uh, to physical, uh, physical to virtual, virtual to physical, and virtual to virtual type protection. Here we're showing the ability of you know, ArcServe sort of, uh, high availability and replication to actually protect physical servers, automatic failover across uh, the network, uh, across a LAN or WAN, you replicate data, and you can see on the right-hand side, it's either physical to physical or physical to virtual. On the lower portion of the screen, again, just showing the flexibility using uh, virtualized technologies on both sides, uh, virtual to virtual, and any type of hypervisor you, that we talked about in this conversation, be it VMware, Microsoft Hyper-V, or Citrix Zen, giving you the, the application level or full system high availability so you, you should desire, and now the flexibility to add that cloud type protection that many small and medium businesses would like to desire. And the large organizations who may take advantage of the capabilities built into that for private clouds so if they should like to. The beauty of obviously uh, of cloud and the ability to have these cloud connector resources built in is that you pay only for when the replica servers are actually running uh, on an as-needed basis and as long as you need it. Eliminates the need for costly dedicated disaster recovery centers um, and the associated hardware costs that, ha that often are associated with trying to create a similar uh, environment uh, at a secondary location, as well as the um, procurement of software, uh, the brick and mortar location, power cooling, et cetera. It really replaces that capital expenditure with the OPEX, which is a lot more easy to uh, and flexible to to, um, to allocate as, as necessary. And you don't have to really worry about maintaining that hardware and uh, an OS, uh, different OSs and across the board. And we have a number of other combinations where all the products here are working together. You can do a local backup and replicate the data across uh, a LAN, perhaps, to another location. So here we're showing ArcSurf Backup backing up the tape, ArcSurf D2D, a uh, particular database that might be protected for that quick recovery, and replicating all that to the appropriate virtual machines at the uh, secondary, pardon me, at the secondary location across the, the LAN. From a wide area network perspective, similar situation. We now have uh, basically four servers that we're looking at protecting here. We have uh, headquarters, and we want to make sure that we're actually taking that off-site data and actually consolidating it to a centralized location. Um, 
for disaster recovery purposes. ARCs are back at working in conjunction with ARCs of replication, in this particular case, providing that additional level of protection. Here we're showing ARCs of replication, ARCs of backup, where we're now taking the data and moving it off-site uh, for non-disruptive backup from a physical environment to an actual virtualized environment. Uh, ARCs of D2D is also being used on the secondary site to actually provide that quick or bare metal recovery, and you can use either or. So if you want to go tapeless and you prefer that type of environment, then ARCs of D2D would be the way to go. And of course, local backup and high availability. We're now using the high availability in conjunction with ARCs of backup and ARCs of D2D. Remember, all the capabilities in ARCs of replication are also included in our high availability solution. So now this gives you the automatic failover and failback. The ARCs of high availability solution, there's a heartbeat, it monitors the primary server, and if there's not a response, then you as the administrator have the opportunity, based on how you've configured it, to push button failover or to do the automatic failover to that disaster recovery site. And when they fail over, it's almost seamless to the users that they've moved to a different server. So very key here, I think, to minimize the impact and to the production environment. And of course, we can also do for disaster recovery purposes in a non-disruptive fashion for from a physical environment to a virtualized environment using ARCs of D2D on the secondary site, again, for the recoverability of those servers, um, quick restoration of exchange and SQL uh, if necessary. And of course, ARCs of backup can be used to really do that long-term archiving. All of these solutions are encrypted, uh, so you can now be able to protect your data in a seamless fashion, maintain your intellectual property in a very comfortable fashion. So there are many causes of data loss out there uh, in, in an organization. Uh, primarily accidental deletion or human error being uh, number one. But regardless of the reason for your data loss, you can really look at the ArcSurf family of products as they continue to evolve and grow to protect your business, allow you to grow your business, and to effectively protect your business. The ArcSurf family product gives you control of the uh, your evolving business, delivering total protection, recoverability for your systems, your applications, and your data. And to get this, complete solution to manage and protect your data and for physical as well as virtualized environments. And it's the only solution right now that offers that full range of, of bare metal recovery and restoration to fully automated failover and for continuous system and data availability. So, you know, don't compromise, you know, uh, work with your tech extend point of contact there to, to manage your, your data protection needs, to allow you to grow your business in a profitable manner, protect the integrity of your business, and we'll help you uh, do that with the ArcSurf family of products. So at this particular point, I just want to kind of do a little summary. You know, you can look at ArcSurf family of products to provide you on-site, off-site, or hybrid data protection, uh, disk to disk, the cloud, um, cloud failover, archiving the cloud, virtualized servers. Uh, you can reduce the storage requirements with our integrated data duplication. Uh, replicate data uh, and rewind basically to a recovery point that's valid and usable, all integrated with our, our ARC server replication and the high availability products. Bare metal recovery uh, to more quickly restore data uh, and servers and applications and to get your business back on its feet. And of course, high availability solutions are also available to make sure that you don't have any downtime should your organization require the highest level of protection. You can learn more by going to uh, techextend.com and obviously looking at the, on the website there and being able to go under our products there and look under trials and be able to select a trial download from their website or offserve.com as well. Now we get 30 day trials uh, of the software uh, is available there. I want to thank you for your time and in our remaining minutes, uh, open it up for questions. Okay, if anybody has any questions, please feel free to enter them in the chat or the Q&A section um, and we will take them right now. Uh, while we're waiting for questions, one that comes up, and I've had a number of people ask me this: you know, how is this? How are your software licensed? Um, well, one of the key things that we've done to allow uh, for the flexibility of acquiring these licenses, offering different methods. You can do your traditional way of licensing it, where you have your component level, uh, you know, the options and agents. But we've got some very interesting, revolutionary ways of doing it, where one license key per server. Uh, we'll give you unlimited protection based on all the backup software you need, the um, options and agents necessary for that particular server based on the role of that server, be it a file server, email server, database server, or even an application server. 
And for organizations who really don't want to manage licenses on a recurring basis, we even have a managed capacity, which gives you basically one license key, and this license is made on the total number of terabytes that are protected, allowing customers to then have one license key, one renewal, and based on the total number of terabytes that are protected, you get unlimited copies of the solution of your choice, be it arcs or backup, the replication, high availability, or our disk to disk solution, or all of those solutions in one suite. Okay, well, not seeing any questions, we'd like to thank everybody today for attending. And if you would like to contact us for more information, please do so at info at or at 800 221 7710. Again, thank you, everybody, and thank you, John, for uh, conducting today's webinar. My pleasure. Have a blessed day. Thank you.